Hello there everybody, this is Bird Power TV here with another World of Warcraft Shadowlands video for you today and we'll be going over the plate armour for the Covenants and we'll be showing you the sources and the colour variations. So let's start with the Kyrians. So the first one that we have up today is the Kyrian Campaign Selfless set and you'll be unlocking the different pieces by completing the different chapters in the Kyrian Campaign storyline. So with the four different covenants that are in Shadowlands, you will have four different colour variations of the covenant armour. And on screen now, you have the three other variations of the Kyrian armour. The one on the left is the Kyrian Renowned Harmonious set, and you'll be unlocking this through the Renowned Threshold levels and you'll need anima currency to unlock the different pieces. The middle set is the Path of Ascension Discordant and you'll be unlocking this through the Kyrian's unique feature, the Path of Ascension, and you'll need to defeat different bosses at rank 4 and each piece will cost you 350 anima. And the final set that we have for you is the Reverence set on the right and it currently doesn't have a name, thus why it's called Unknown Source, so at the current moment in time we don't know where that is. But when you're watching this video, the source may be available, so you might want to check out Wowhead in the description below this video. Now we are going to move on to the Necrolords, and the set on screen now is called the Necrolord Campaign Bladesworn set. And as you can probably guess, it's the same as the Kyrians. You will be unlocking the, the different pieces by completing the storyline for the Necrolords. So on screen now you have the other colour variations for the Necrolord set. So the one on the left is the Necrolord Renowned Prime set and you'll be unlocking this through different Renowned Threshold levels and you'll be needing the Anima Currency so you'll be buying this from the Quartermaster similar to the Kyrians. In the middle we have the Abomination Stitching set and this will be created using the Necrolord's unique feature Abomination Stitching and you'll be using the malleable flesh which is collected in the Shadowlands expansion. It is currently not known where the recipe is for this set so you might want to check out the link in the description below this video. And the final set that we have for you is the Necrolord Prestige Duty Bound set on the right and similar to the Kyrians we don't actually know where the source is for this colour variation but the rumour is that it will be available with the tribute of the duty band which is the weekly elite necrolord calling quest so once again check out wildhead below in case the source is available when you are watching this video so now we are moving on to the night fey campaign and this one is the fey armor and similar to the previous covenants as you're probably guessing you will be unlocking this current armor set with the campaign and completing the different chapters So now we are moving on to the different colour variations and first up we have the Night Fey Renowned Night Courier set and this will be unlocked with the Renowned Threshold levels and you'll be purchasing it from the Quartermaster for the Anima Currency. In the middle we have the Queen's Conservatory set and this is purchased using the Night Fey's unique feature which is the Queen's Conservatory and the armour set is sold by High Chief Stillspine. The entire set will cost you 10,000 anima currency. And the final Night Fae set on the right is the Court of Night Winterborn set. Within the Night Fae there is a sub-faction called the Court of Night and you'll be unlocking this set through the reputation with this sub-faction. And the entire set is going to cost you 10,000 anima currency and it's going to require Exalted Reputation. And the last covenant that we need to cover is the Venefir, and the one on screen is the Venefir campaign ebony set. And as you probably guessed it, you will be unlocking this entire set through the Venefir storyline by completing the chapters. Now we are moving on to the three different colour variations. So first up we have the Venefir renowned crimson set, and this is from the renowned Threshold and you'll be needing the Anima Currency to purchase it from the Venefer renowned Quartermaster. And the set in the middle is the Ember Court set, and this is sold through the Venefer's unique feature, which is the Ember Court, and each piece will cost you 
from somewhere between 350 to 3,500 anima currency. And the final set that we have for you is the Traveller Network Burnished set. So it's currently not known how to acquire this colour of the Venefer's armour, but it's rumoured to come from the Blood Mirror chest, and these are from the final tier of the Venefer Transportation Network. Thank you very much for watching another World of Warcraft Shadowlands video. All of the armour that you saw today is linked in the description below this video. Please like, comment and subscribe for more content, and I hope to see you again soon.